Hi, hi we're the Infidels, and you're watching Toasted. Infidels, welcome in Amsterdam. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. We're a bit hungover. We played last night in the Melt Bag. Um, so it's a great show, but we haven't had much sleep, have we, Rich? No, but that's kind of that's normal of touring, yeah. especially in this band. Like, the sleep is like a few hours, like a few far between when you can grab it, really. Yeah. So kind of a shame when you're out there in this weather. Yeah, no, but I mean, it's great to be back on tour. Though, I mean, I can handle being a bit tired and hungover, really. So it's all good. Yeah. How, how was the show? How was the reaction? Yeah, it was amazing. Actually, we think it's in the top five of all time shows. Really? Yeah, 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 we were really chuffed with it. Because it was like, uh, it was an interesting one because we played loads of the new stuff and it went down really, really well. And we were really nervous about playing the new stuff and thinking, oh, you know, no one's, the record's not out, we don't know if they'd have heard it, if they like it. But it's great reaction and just a great atmosphere in the room. It was like, it was one of those gigs that I'd like to have been in the audience myself. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this, this looks like a great place to be, this audience, man. So, yeah, brilliant, yeah, brilliant atmosphere. I, I even ended up in the audience at the end of the gig. <laughs> really? so it was a bit of an impromptu, like, crowd surfing moment during Can't Get Enough. And I just like, I just jumped into the crowd and I was like singing away and I just felt myself being lifted up. And then before yeah. I know it, I'm like watching an Infidels gig, like, <laughs> while singing in the crowd. Like, wow. Wow. That was great, man. Yeah, that was amazing. And like, it, yeah. did some uh, manage to touch you in uh, some... Uh... Inappropriately. No, actually, I, I've never crowd surfed before in my life. And I just, I, was, um, I always looked, thought it looked a bit scary and yeah. like you'd get a few bruises, but people were very nice. I think I probably hurt a few people on my way down. Because <laughs> as I was like making my way back to the stage, I just saw these like poor, like, poor people like, oh, bloody hell. Like, I'm not, I'm not the lightest person by any stretch. Yeah. So. Yeah, but that's also what I, I start to wonder when people jump down like Eddie Feather with the, he once jumped down from a camera crane right. into the crowd and I thought well it, it's a miracle nobody got killed yeah, for fuck's yeah, sake. Yeah. 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 Well it's a, new, it's a new skill that you're learning isn't it Richie? Like you're going to learn how to do it professionally and the whole thing, one of the best ones is uh, I saw a band and they've done the thing where they crowd surfed, the, the singer fell into the audience and then crowd surfed all the way to the back and you have to be crowd, and then all the way back on stage. Wow. That's the thing where people pass you all the way over yeah. and then back down again. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the holy grail of a crowd <laughs> surf. Yeah, and I, I think that takes some working up to, you know yeah. what I mean? So, I that's I, next, isn't it? I think I come more from the Hugh Grant school of uh, crowd <laughs> surfing because I'm just like, sorry, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if my feet stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, Oops. And they do stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, so, so, what's your connection with with the Dutch crowd? Because uh, it was sold out really, really early. Yeah. And you had a nice gig. So, what's yeah. your connection with the Netherlands? I don't know, all, uh, all of our shows here from day one, um, when we started the band, have always been like completely off the hook. Like from the moment we like go on stage, like the first like note you play, everyone just starts going bananas. And, like. And, that, and that, we love coming here to to play that to play uh, the music because the show's always sold out. And it's a good country as well. We always think it's a good country. We love the fact that everyone's on bikes. Everyone seems very chilled out. Everyone's friendly and up for a party. And it's just I don't know. I don't know what the connection is because we're English, so we don't mm -hmm. know enough about like uh, you know the Dutch people and stuff. But we've always had this great affinity with them, and it's just we feel like it's a blessing, you know, a real blessing for us. And great crowd to party with like just mm. such a good crowd you know just really energetic with us and i don't know it's just yeah. brilliant how is it to play the the new album live yeah well we we started doing i think we've done about seven tracks off the new album last night didn't yeah. we and it was really good fun we were really nervous about it but it went down brilliantly and a couple of the songs people already know like which we didn't know they knew and you know it's just really i don't know some of them that they've never heard there's one a track called Free Things for Poor People. Mm -hmm. I mean, played it for the first time in Holland yeah. last night and just went down brilliantly. Like, people just seemed to really get it really instantly. And mm -hmm. Yeah, but you, you also done a few shows in the UK, right? Maybe it's on YouTube or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe there. it is, yeah. yeah. See, I don't think about those things, but it probably is on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why. I noticed a few people yeah, knew the, the word. That's the strange thing about it, yeah. you know? Everything could be on YouTube. Well, yeah. this is it. That We, we realised that the last... Whenever you do a gig now, if you wanted to check out how the gig was to watch it, you can literally go on the computer the next day and see like at least one song of someone's phone. Yeah. So it's quite mad. We've done a cover of an Amy Winehouse tune when we played a place called uh, Bibelot. Bibelot in Dortrecht, was Dortrecht, it? Yeah. Dortrecht. This is like this is before the second album had even been finished recording. We just went out and just done yeah. a gig. 
and literally the next day the Amy Winehouse cover was on YouTube and it was like oh okay like this is what it sounded like you know what, what song did you cover rehab like oh, this okay. is what yeah but it was it's up there now yeah yeah it's yeah, yeah it's gentle. you've got like all these kind of uh, venues with all these rules about like people can't be filming and like blah, blah, blah. there's people like filming like for a documentary like you can only film two songs but then you go on the, the internet the next day and the entire gig's up there and someone's done it on their phone. So, yeah. so, you know, yeah it, 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 usually it looks crappy and it, it, it sounds crappy too. Yeah, but it does, yeah. yeah. It does. I mean, the sound isn't good, but it's just quite mad that, you know, it's very instant nowadays. It is just like that, you know. Yeah. Everything's just up there. But I think that's quite a cool thing in the sense that, like, you play a gig and then you can see it the next day and if you if you couldn't manage to go then and your friend goes, oh, it's a really good gig, and you're like, what were they like? What kind of stuff? Oh, we'll just check it out on YouTube. Yeah. You know, this is what they're like. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's good. So you guys kind of embrace it. I don't mind. Yeah, the thing with I, I quite like the idea that you know you get the the shows kind of are up there to watch and stuff like that. I embrace that. I don't embrace like people downloading music uh, for for like illegally. I don't embrace that at all. Well, you kind of released your uh, Play Blind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A few a few months ago already, right? Yeah. 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 We done uh, with Play Blind. We done a little free download, which was like um, a little thank you to our fans and stuff like that. And you know, it's the notion that we'll like let we we'll sort of say like, here you go, like here's something from us and stuff like that. But we don't. That's a legal thing and stuff. But we don't like the idea of people actually illegally downloading any music because yeah. the trouble with it is, is it means that bands don't get to make any more albums that's that's the problem if everybody illegally downloads your album you don't get to make another album yeah, but if you keep selling out the milkware and, and stuff it's, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not enough to make a yeah. you could yeah. never make it your record company and you could never make another album if everybody downloads it for free you'll never make another album and this is the misunderstanding amongst people they feel that if you download music and people are selling big venues they're making lots of money but tours cost a lot of money to put on you see yeah. so it's important that if you like music that you just buy it from the, the band that you like because then they'll make more albums that's how it works you know so it's an important thing but equally it's important it's a good thing that music is so instantaneous and it's out there and you can you you know you can find things you know and you can get things on youtube you can see a band if someone says to me oh have you heard this new band and i go oh, i know what they like and i'll just check them out on youtube you can see that so i think you know, you get enough good free stuff where you yeah. can actually find stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think just out of respect, you should always pay for music, is, is my personal opinion. Mm -hmm.